What's up with Coach's Life? So I know it's been a while since we put out a tennis video, but today we're gonna be doing a video on the slice. A slice of pizza? No, dude, not that kind of slice. A slice of cake? No, Enrique. I got it, I got it. A bread slice. Just roll the intro. talk about when executing the proper slice is going to be a proper grip. So the easiest way to find this is we're going to take our racket and we're going to hold it perpendicular to the ground. So if you see here you can count the bevel starting from the top going counterclockwise one sorry one two three four. So if you get your racket and hold it perpendicular to the ground okay we count the bevels one two. I'm going to take the base knuckle of my index finger and I'm going to line it up with the second bevel now, I have the proper grip to start executing the slice. Okay guys, so I apologize, uh, there's some guy cutting the grass, so it, they literally just started. So the audio's gonna be a little choppy, but we're gonna try to do our best. Okay, so as Paul explained, he already went through the grip, using the continental grip. Now when we do a slice, the path of the racket normally goes from a high to low position. But a, a problem that a lot of people have, is that they tend to do that, but then they just chop it down. What we call it the chop. So they go like here from here and they go down. So to kind of emphasize a little bit of follow through, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the net, okay? So as we said, high to low pathway, we're gonna stop at the net and then we're gonna use the net as a railway so that you can extend that face or that path of the racket. So you don't wanna just chop it down, you wanna do those high to low and then extend and use the net as a railway. That should kind of help you doing the right move. Let's break it down. Enrique has his right arm extended with his left elbow up, supporting the racket up by his ear. From behind, you can see that he has a full shoulder turn. He pulls the butt cap of the racket down on a 45 degree angle to the contact point. Okay guys, now I know there's no ball visible at the hit zone. We don't have the technology yet to make that shot possible. But if you please subscribe to our channel, you might just make our dreams a reality. Let's fast forward into the extension. Here, Enrique follows through while maintaining the sideways position. Let's take a look at some examples. Okay, Coach's Life, so hope you enjoyed the video. We wanted to keep it really simple. Um, just a couple tips on the slice. Wanted to create some content, come out and film. I know we haven't put a tennis video out in a while, so uh, it was a lot of fun to do that. Um, just remember on the slices, remember it's a high to low motion. Make sure the path of the racket follows through the ball, and um, I hope it helped you out. Thoughts? Dude, this is a much better slice.